Chill, Matt G, the Ghost Lady, and Len Moleko. Welcome to another episode of Podcast and Chill, the Black Friday edition. And man, you know how we do it. If you have a business and you are black and you want to tell us what you do, what services you render, what you're selling, it is pretty easy because you can be sitting right here next to me. All you've got to do is send us your business profile, send us your business details. Our email address is a podcast at thisismcg.com. Alternatively, drop us a WhatsApp. Our number is 81 Four seven four zero six three two, and you could do like Basani Cleaners did, and that is why they're sitting right here next to me. Yeah, man. Macmillan, welcome to the show, man. Thank you for having me, brother. So I'm gonna get straight into it. Okay. Basani Cleaners, the concept. Where did it come from? And the name. Can you just take me through it? Okay, let's start with the name. Yeah. My wife is Tonga. Okay. So Basani is means pure okay. in, in Tsonga. All right. Um, all right. I worked for the bank before I started the business. Yeah. So before this business... Which part uh, of the bank? Uh, Were you counting money? <laughs> no, I wasn't counting money. <laughs> um, I was a employee benefits consultant all right. for Butley's Bank. Yeah. And before that, I had had a Shisanya that failed. I had had a, um, a salon that failed. I had had this and that that failed. Yeah. And then I went to Vets Business School. After that, I was like, okay, you know, let me let me go back. Let me do something um, else. Let me go back into business. And a friend of mine already had a cleaning company yeah so he mentored me into the business and then i went on and opened my own oh cool yeah what do you find is is, is the toughest sort of like uh space in the cleaning in the cleaning industry because i'm thinking cleaning i'm thinking okay cool you get a helper mm-hmm. they come they clean your house and then they leave mm. but you are obviously not doing that you are a little bit above the come uh, wash the dishes and then yeah. Yeah, we, we do deep cleaning. Okay. Like, we do your commercial cleaning and your we do private houses as well. Yeah. But we do your pest control, we do your carpets, we clean your mattresses, your couches. Um, we do your gardening as well. But um, when we opened the business, um, we were very clear that we were going to introduce a market that is not used to using cleaning companies to cleaning. Okay. So our prices are very low because we wanted to go into townships um, to introduce our parents to to this type of cleaning because a lot of people have mattresses that they've had for ten years or so yeah, that have not been cleaned, cleaned yeah. and they wonder why they are always sick. Yeah, you know, gems, gems things, yeah, bed bugs, sweat, yeah. bed bugs, and all those things. But the um. The complicated part about the cleaning business is getting into the stains. Into the stains, yeah. Because remember, <laughs> remember, you've got your rental kills, you've yeah. got your bead vests that are already in there. Yes, yes, yes. So yes. we are coming in to say, guys, we can do what they do. Yeah. But we do it cheaper. So it's just for us to convince them to give us that business. But we have uh, currently we've got um, your. Mining companies like Maxim, your FLS Smith, yes. those are billion rents companies that are using our services that we are contracted to. So we are doing quite well. So w- w- one thing that I've noticed that you do with Basani Cleaners is you're actually able to get a lot of prominent people to get your services. When I say prominent, I mean people that are well known in the country, yeah. like your DJ Zintles, your Carol Shabalalas, to, just to name a few. Yeah, yeah. How did they come about knowing that, okay, there's a service like this that is being offered. Let me test them out. <laughs> Yo, extreme marketing. <laughs> extreme marketing. Which is um, something that's very important if you're very, getting into a very competitive space. Yeah. I mean, someone once said um, doing business without marketing is like winking at a girl at night, you know? Yeah. Only you know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, 
I went on Twitter and I pushed and yeah. I pushed and I pushed. I mean, just yesterday, just today, yes. I was actually chatting to uh, Tabete. What's her name? Uh, Tando Tabete. Tando Tabete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, we've done your somizes. We've done quite a lot of people, but yeah. it's all about making sure that you are in people's faces all the time. And your work has to speak for itself as well. Because it's one thing for you to be like, okay, Sharp, uh, I was cleaning Len's house or yeah. I was cleaning Tando Tabeta's house, mm. but the quality of work does quality not show the noise that yes. you make yes. for your services to be acquired. Mm. So with us, um, we get a lot of um, the celebrities on Twitter yeah. because black Twitter is on our side. Yes. Because they, we've cleaned for so many of... For so many people on Twitter yeah. that every time we clean for them, they go on Twitter and say, "Look at what Basani has done for us. Yeah. Look at Basani has done for us." So everyone wants a taste of what we do. So when you started this, were you part of the people who were getting their hands dirty, or did you find sort of like a work crew that was doing the job and you were just sort of like monitoring if they are doing the work well? There was no money for that. <laughs> when I started. I drove my car, yeah, and so I had a I had a BMW yes. that I sold and bought a bikey, yeah, bought a machine, and I drove around to clients. I would pick up that heavy machine, yes, plug it in, do the do the work, go to the next client. Sometimes I'd knock off at ten. I'd get home. I would be too tired to even sleep. So. I always encourage business people that if you are going to open a business, yeah. make sure that it's a business that you understand. Yes. So I understand cleaning because I've yeah. done it. Yeah. You know, um, I didn't just go into it. I didn't just buy a business. You know, it's something that I've done on my own. So, yeah. If somebody gets into a space like this and they want tips on how to go about it, what would you give them as the best piece of advice? I think research your market, first of all. Yeah. Uh, find your niche. Um, don't try to copy what other people are doing. Do your own thing. But most importantly, you need to understand cleaning. You need to find a mentor in the cleaning business like I did and take it from there. Looking at the scale of, obviously, big corporates, you're, that other company, we're yeah. not going to mention their yeah. name because they're not paying yeah. us. Versus the smaller guys who are coming up, mm. how tough is the competition for the guys who are coming up? Because the big guys are signing contracts for five years, yeah, and they sort it. They know they've got income for that period of time. Mm. For the smaller guys, it's yes, we'll do maybe on a two-week, three-week basis, and then we're done. You don't get contracts that are that long. I think. The reason people don't get those contracts is because they don't know how to go looking for those contracts. Yeah. First of all, um, okay, people, when you go into a company, yeah. you need to know who to talk to. Okay. You need to know how to sell yourself. But more than anything else, you need to have the right paperwork. Yes. You know, when I talk to my clients, what they say is, guys, we want to support black businesses, mm. but you guys don't have the paperwork. Yeah. You know, you just wake up, you go, you open a company, you run it. But you need to have the paperwork. You need to do the job. Yeah. You know, you need to make sure that the client doesn't chase you to do the work. Yeah. You know, that you need to do the work. And, I mean, BEE works, honestly. Um, companies also have development programs yes. for small businesses. Yeah. So these are some of the things that um, entrepreneurs can look can look for. Yeah. Yeah. So somebody watching the show now wants to acquire the services mm. of Basani Cleaners. Yeah. Be it for their personal purposes at home to wash mm -hmm. the mattress there that has never been washed for ten yeah. years. Eh? Oh, and we charge four hundred for a mattress only. Okay. To clean a mattress. Okay. Oh, yeah. we're gonna get there. We're getting there. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> or somebody who works for a company that wants to acquire the services of somebody or a company that's gonna come and clean. Yeah. Because you know companies there's traffic all the time yeah, and yeah. those carpets need to be clean. Mm -hmm. How do they get hold of you and what can they expect from you? Okay, uh, we are on Twitter at Basani Cleaners. Basani is B A S A N I on Twitter at Basani Cleaners. Uh, Instagram at Basani Cleaners, 
Facebook, it's Macmillan Masoka, M-C-M-I-L-L-A-N Masoka. And um, we are on WhatsApp as well, 072-879-0119, 072-879-0119. We are on email, info at blu-m.co.za. All right, cool. So you were saying with the Mataras is 400. Okay. Um, just like some of the competitive prices yeah, that, you, that ma- you're speaking ma- about, ma- just take ma- us through some of them. Yeah. Okay, my trust is it's 400. Yeah. Um, we charge. It doesn't matter what size. It Single, doesn't matter what double, size. Yeah. Queen, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. And your fitted carpets, for instance, we charge 450 per yeah. carpet. Yeah. Your rug 350 per carpet. A couch like this, like your L-shaped couch, yeah. it's 650 only. Ah. Yeah. You and heard- we we travel for free all over Gauteng. You heard that. First, right here on podcast and chill, six fifty only for an L couch. Yeah. Macmillan, thank you very much. Thank Been you a for pleasure having, having you. Uh, yeah, make sure that you contact them at Basani Cleaners on Twitter, and we'll put the number right down here and the email address. And you can get him Macmillan Masoka on Facebook as well. Make sure you get your carpets, your Madras, everything, Yon Kinto. Make sure you get everything clean, man. Yes, this has been Podcasting Show, the Black Friday edition. My name is Len Muleko, and I will see you on the flip side. Podcast and Chill. Matt G, the Ghost Lady, and Len Muleko.